Since 2017, UNICEF has been implementing a health governance program in Sierra Leone. The aim of the program is basically to improve the health of mothers and children in the country with particular emphasis on reducing the level of maternal mortality and child mortality in the country. Health governance was prioritized by USAID due to the Ebola crisis in 2014. During the crisis, and immediately after the Ebola crisis was declared over, there was lack of citizens' participation and trust in accessing quality healthcare services across the nation. So USAID made significant investments to further strengthening the health system in Sierra Leone. And one of those programs was the health governance program partnering up with the UNICEF. The goal of this, this project is to improve health governance in Sierra Leone through two approaches. Firstly, is to increase community engagement by raising awareness through the media and by empowering communities and local leaders to monitor and hold accountable the delivery of free healthcare supplies and services. Secondly, to build the capacity of the government to improve the monitoring of drug distribution at national, district and local level. The role of national and local media is very important in healthcare service delivery. IMDEV has been collaborating with local and national partners in ensuring that the media is capacitated to report on healthcare. And in so doing, we partnered with community radio stations across the country, the Sierra Leone Association of Journalists, and also partnered with communities. FAMBO, good evening, welcome to the special edition of uh, We Well Body Talk Accountability Program, only meeting live on Radio Maria McKinney Studios. The free health care, what they call uh, Well Body Bahia, uh, this program we've already been for a very long time. As I said, they bring the voice of the people to the government and that of the uh, uh, government's voice to the people. We bring the key players, and at times with the open phone lines. Alongside the participating community radio stations, we do have what we call listener clubs. The purpose is for them to monitor our radio programs, to find out whether they are aired on time, to also review and reflect on the content that has been aired, whether it's reflective of what is happening in their communities, and also to give us feedback and also pitch ideas for, for the next programs that will be airing. For any program where we don't listen, we just do them as a group, we dialogue, we discuss and ask yourself what you understand from the program. After which, we summarize them, we put them together, then we go back to the different homes, and of course, and impact the knowledge we don't learn from the program we listen. So, if I don't foresee, the benefit, and of course, people them back with the outside, when our parents them, when our, when our community people them, also benefit from the program we, we can not listen. So the most effective idea or innovation is our outdoor broadcast, wherein we bring the radio to the communities. And for me, I think this is a very important part because you're not inviting the community or a role model or an influencer to the radio station. You're bringing the radio to the community themselves, to the people that matter. And you can ride your son, people buy a ride, you buy a car, you can program it. People talk about it, they 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 talk about it. It's really, really clear and important to note that communities will need to get these services. So what UNICEF did was uh, to work with Health for All Coalition, which is a civil society organization that uh, in turn worked with community uh, structures, especially the Village Development Committee, to ensure that uh, they demand improved health services. But more to that was actually for them to own their own health services. If the community does, don't get involved, don't feel to be part of the process, it, it becomes very, very more difficult. So community engagement is central, it's an integral, and it should be a cross-cutting issues in all development aspects and also improving quality of care for communities. The UNICEF developed uh, the U Report uh, platform, which is another tool that we have used in this project to raise awareness on a lot of issues. As we speak currently, there are about 160,000 U Reporters that get messages uh, 
uh, around health issues, but also some other related issues like uh, uh, discrimination and issues related to child protection in general and health care services. Your report is a way to survey uh, young people or community members through an SMS-based platform. And the way it can be used to help health governance is that you can be able to ask community members what health issues they're facing. And if you're just doing a program within the community that's health related, you'll be able to evaluate how effective that program is as well. Your reports, they give you voice as young people. Because through replying, we also go able to make our own choice on decision making in the country and cuts across the world. We quite understand that the provision of drugs is a key component in this uh, project. So UNICEF have been working with the Ministry of Health and Sanitation in terms of building their capacity, in terms of distribution of uh, drugs, and also to kind of uh, give improved accountability around this drugs distribution. RapidPro is an open source mobile SMS based system that has been developed and rolled out by UNICEF. We supported the government of Sri Lanka to use Rapid Pro to monitor distributions at first and last mile. For first mile, this is a situation wherein when the drugs are being received at the port of entry, they are stored in the central warehouses. So from Freetown, we, we have what we call the picking and packing in bulk, wherein the commodities are being picked and packed in bulk from Freetown, and they are sent to each of these district medical stores. So that's the first mile. It is the responsibility for the district people to now do picking and packing for each of the facilities that they have. So when drugs are being moved from the district medical stores to each of the health facilities within that district, it is referred to as the last mile distribution. Initially, there are times when discrepancies happen, when drugs are being distributed to some of these facilities, but us at Centralia, we do not have any idea with regards to that. But with the incoming of the Rapid Pro, we now have first-hand information for any time we do distribution as to what actually transpires. If there are discrepancies, then through the Rapid Pro, they will know of short information. We have seen that the need for, to bring the community on board, the, to bring other partners on board, for them to know that indeed drugs are going and uh, they need to monitor the, the drugs that do reach to them. So they have become an integral part of the governance structure down to the community level. It is not about just flagging shortcomings. It is about us working together as a country to provide solutions to problems. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate the government of Sierra Leone for its leadership in the work we are all doing to improve the health of children and women in Sierra Leone.